Here we are in northeast Victoria and blackberry are a huge problem. No other weed compares with the problem that blackberry is. A massive problem. In fact, they're actually declared a weed of national significance. I grew up in the Upper Murray where blackberries are really an unknown quantity many, many years ago. And now they spread right through Kosciuszko State Park. They spread across into the rivers. They block the streams. They block the walking trails. They're moving out into arable land and they become public enemy number one. It's not just a problem in the northeast. It's a problem across Victoria. It's a problem across southeastern Australia. Years ago, people used to be able to walk through these mountains uh, in just a few days. Now you just can't get through it at all because of the blackberry. They became a noxious weed in, in Gippsland in the 1850s and they've just spread absolutely everywhere since then. So we clearly need a very strong approach to our blackberry management. The amount of effort that's put in is heroic. It's a really dangerous occupation spraying blackberries. Uh, it's in very difficult country, you're in the heat of the summer. On the uh, Crown land and on my block I would do 17,000 gallons average a year. People have done an amazing amount of work uh, but we're not winning. So I got this phone call from Doris and uh, she said that we really need um, to, to bring in some more biocontrol agents to get the blackberry under control. And so fortunately MLA was able to send us off to France um, and to Portugal to look for some natural enemies um, that would attack basically the heart of the blackberry problem. Well, the good news is we um, found two different insects. So originally we were only looking for one. We knew of one called the blackberry uh, sawfly. But when we started doing the DNA analysis of these larvae, we actually found that there were two insects. And both of them attacked the crowns and the canes. And they cause those canes to die off. And that stops the, um, the spread of the blackberry. So we collected all of our specimens and we brought them back to our agribio facilities here based at La Trobe University. And we used DNA barcoding techniques to identify what those insects were. It was really through those, um, that, that process that we were able to identify this new species that we'd never recorded on blackberry before. We were looking for what attacked the blackberry in those canes. What we found were all these little grubs, the larvae, the immature stages, but you can't identify them to species based on that stage. You need to be able to uh, use other more advanced techniques and that's why we had to bring them back to AgriBio here um, at La Trobe and then extract out their DNA and then use that kind of a DNA barcoding technique to um, identify what those species were it generates a relationship tree. And from that, we can then determine how, um, how insects are, are related to each other and the identity of those species. It's really exciting to uh, see what they've achieved in such a short period of time. If it come out and works, it'll be magic because it'll take the berries out of the crown. Many, many farmers are discovering the blackberries are encroaching on their arable farmland. And our part as a Blackberry Action Group is to assist the farmers in regaining that arable land and putting it back into production for them. It's no use spraying a section out and say it's finished. You've got to go back every year. You've got to go over like a grid every year to beat the berries. So if you find seeds coming up, you spray them and that keeps them down. It's an ongoing process and you will get to the stage where you'll actually get them under control. And so we need to work together collectively, the communities, the scientists with the new techniques to be able to develop up these new tools that, that we desperately need for blackberry control. The critical thing now is to continue the partnership between the community and the scientists. We need obviously a significant amount of funding to resource um, a strategic approach to solving this problem. We still need to go the next step and that's where we do the more rigorous testing where we test a whole range of other plant species and native species, economically important species, make sure that these insects aren't going to attack those so that we can demonstrate their safety for release. We've got several uh, native biocontrols that are out there assisting us but we need the governments to think along those same lines as us and give us support. We've got some wonderful people we're working with at this stage and we clearly need to have that big biocontrol that's going to work in forests, it's going to work on arable land, it's going to work where other things just aren't happening. Partnerships are vitally important because I believe that no one can stand alone. You've got to be working with whomsoever you can, heading for the same direction.